Hi, do you have a bag or box somewhere filled with scrap fabrics you should probably throw out, but still haven't? Then this is the video for you. Today I'm turning my own old scraps into three different projects. So I started with cutting some squares that I will turn into lavender pouches. Your squares can be any size and they don't have to be from the same fabric. To be honest, they don't even have to be squares. But mine ended up being around 10 cm by 10 cm. Next, I'm cutting out some rectangles for my next bit of scrap. I want to turn these into mini hand warmers that you can put into your pockets. Once again, feel free to play around with size depending on your wishes and the amount of scraps you have. Also, bonus points to anyone who recognizes some of these scraps I'm using. For the last one, I'm just trying to get a rectangle that's as big as I can make it while still being kind of straight. The pattern thankfully helps me out a lot with that. And that's all the cutting done. Let's start with the lavender pouches. I'm measuring out a bit of twine to form a loop so I can hang the pouches over any clothes hangers. And then I just repeat that step for however many pouches I want to make. Now I'm pinning my loop of twine in place on the right side of my fabric. I want it to be in a corner, but you could also place your loop somewhere else. Next I'm covering up my square with my other square right sides touching, and then sew around, leaving a gap for you to turn it inside out and fill it up with lavender. Before turning it inside out, you can clip off your corners. Don't make the same mistake as I did though, and don't clip the corner where you've attached your loop. After turning it inside out, I can finally fill it up with some dried lavender. I'm just using a funnel made from some rolled up paper and a measuring scoop to do so. Don't overfill your pouches, you're going to need some room to do the second stitch around. 
After filling it up, I'm tucking in the part where I left it unsewed and then sewing all around, but this time sewing about half a centimeter inside of the square that I already sewed, pushing the lavender away as I sew to create room. This also creates a little lavender pocket quite in the middle. By the way, my hands and sewing machines sell so much of lavender after this, but I'm not complaining. Anyway, that's your first project done. It's only gonna get easier from here. Let's move on to our scrunchies. I'm folding over my rectangle, right sides together, and on one end I'm folding over the edge of my fabric for about 1cm to create a hem. Next, sew along the long edge to create a tube. Now comes the fun part of turning my tube right side out. I'd love to know how you guys prefer to do this because I tend up flinging it around like a maniac. Anyway, next I'm cutting my elastic to length. I want it to fit comfortably around my wrist and then also leave some space so I can tie it off. Finally, I tuck in my raw edges of the fabric into the finished edge and sew it to secure. And that's project 2 done! Let's move on to our last and final project of today. So three quarter round on our little squares, then turn right side out. Next, I filled up with some uncooked rice, which I also mixed in my leftover lavender. Once again, don't overfill these. Finally, I'm tucking in the ends and pinning it together before hand sewing it closed. I think what I'm using is a ladder stitch, but I'm honestly not completely sure. I've learned it when I was sewing plushies.
And that's it. The scrunchie just works like any hair tie. The lavender pouches are for in my closet. I like to hang them over my hangers, but I sometimes also just put them in between my clothes. And the hand warmers I just throw into the microwave for 20 to 30 seconds and they come out nice and toasty and, as an extra bonus, smelling of lavender. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a lovely day. Bye!